Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Angel Marino, but you can call me Mac Daddy. And I cannot believe this is literally my last video of 2022. Every year, at the end of the year, I always say I wanna do one of those like year end wrapped videos, like year in review type of vibe. And I told myself, you know what? We gotta make it happen this year because we gotta go into 2023 super solid. So I'm really excited to be bringing you guys this video. I asked you guys on the gram what categories you guys wanted to know. So I kind of picked some of my favorite ones that I thought would be um, fun and entertaining for you guys to watch. So. Let's get started. I did want to give a huge shout out to Nova Beauty for sponsoring this video. And I figured we would start off with sharing my top three favorite Nova Beauty products. These are three things that I feel like if you are new to Nova Beauty, if you've never tried Nova Beauty before, you have to try these things. I really honestly have fallen in love with the brand this year. Super affordable prices, great formula. They're vegan, cruelty free. You guys definitely got to check them out on NovaBeauty.com. Coming in at number three is one that I recently fell in love with. This is from their Glow Effect Collection, and it is their liquid highlighters. I love these so much, so affordable. They go on so smoothly. They literally give your skin the most beautiful glow. You can use these on your arms, your legs, your body, your face. You can literally apply these anywhere. These are definitely a must have that you guys all need, especially going into the new year. We gotta be glowing all 2023. Coming in at number two, it's gonna have to be their lip glosses. I am obsessed with the formula. It's so lightweight, super high shine. I actually have this one on right now. This is the one that I've been obsessed with. This is in the shade No Cap. I have a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it off. Yeah. Yeah. No cap. Yeah. So definitely check out their lip glosses and all of their lip products. And coming in at number one is their Snatched Lip Liners. First of all, whoever came up with that name, Snatched Lip Liners, they need a raise. And these are literally, you guys, so creamy. I love how easy they are to glide on. And they really have a really interesting like tip. It's almost like a diamond shape. So it allows you to just create really beautiful precision when lining the lips. I love all of the shades. My favorites definitely are brown one and nude two. So make sure you guys also check out their lip liners and make sure you guys shop NovaBeauty.com. So interestingly enough, one of the questions that I get asked the most is, what colognes I like to wear. Um, I kind of am very much like once I find something that works, I just kind of like stick to it. And I think that this year was one of those years where I like was really consistent with wearing like the same fragrances. I got tons of compliments everywhere I went. Coming in at number three, this is literally like a love-hate relationship with this fragrance and I will, I will explain why, but it has to be my Tom Ford Ombre Leather Cologne. Um, I love it because I think it smells really, really good. It has like a musky, like leathery scent. Um, the reason that I have a love-hate relationship is because I used to date someone that wore this all the time. So I love how it smells, but at the same time, it sometimes reminds me of that person. How about this one? No. So it's a love-hate situation. I love it, but then I don't, but it's definitely number three of 2023. Coming in at number two, um, I literally went through like so many bottles of this, is my Dior Sauvage. This one's actually like empty. This is definitely what I would consider the epitome of like a fuckboy fragrance. Excuse me, bro. You're excused. I can't describe it other than like that's what it smells like and not that that's what I am but it just smells so good like sometimes I just like wearing things that I would like for my man to wear so this is definitely one of those fragrances everybody needs this ladies run and get this for your man ASAP because it literally smells so good and coming in at number one this is like my holy grail can't live without it will not travel with it like I need it at all times I've gone through so many bottles of this one and it is my Mont Blanc Mont Blanc Explorer. This was actually a gift to me by one of my followers. Her name is Amber. Shout out to Amber if you're watching this. Uh, but she gifted it to me and I had never smelt it before. And since she gave it to me, I've been like obsessed. It smells so good. I'm gonna actually put some on right now. Would you say this is like a good definition of like what I smell like? Like if you had to like, embody me in like a scent it literally is like 
It smells like me, right? It smells just like you, like your car, your everything. My everything. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, I get so many compliments. Like it does not fail wherever I go. I will literally be in an elevator with like a bunch of straight guys and they're gonna be like, Yo, dude, like, what's it? No, like, what is it? Like, I get so many compliments. So, definitely run and get that one for your man as well. So, moving on, this one was a really funny one. Um, I went back and forth whether I wanted to share this information or not, but I'm just gonna go ahead and share it. So many of you guys wanted to know what were the top three signs or the signs that I dated the most in 2022. I'm not gonna lie, I literally sat here and I was like, okay, like, cause. What do we really consider dating? Like, is it like when you date someone extensively or just like went on a date with someone? But either way, I just kind of did it based off of people that I went on dates with, whether it was one date or two or three or however many. Bag. Oh, what you say? Queen. The results were very interesting. Coming in at number three uh, was Gemini, which uh, com is actually a Gemini. And uh, from experience, I don't, I don't know if I would, um, <laughs> I'm gonna get dragged. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend uh, dating Whatever. a Gemini. The true, oh. Um. I love Gemini girls, like I love Gemini women. But from my experience with the, 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 the few Geminis that I dated, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, sis. I don't, I don't know if we'll do it again. Coming in at number two, the sign that I dated the most is a Taurus, uh, which is actually not surprising to me because I, I think that Tauruses are like my favorite sign to date. Do you like Tauruses? I love Taurus. Why do you like Tauruses? I don't know. I just think I always get along with them. I've never not gone along with Taurus. I, I've liked the Tauruses that I've dated because I, I do feel like sometimes Tauruses, from my experience, they kind of like have no problem taking the lead. I like a balance of both, like taking the lead, but then also like letting someone else take the lead. So also fun fact, my favorite ex-boyfriend was a Taurus. But yeah, I like Tauruses. Tauruses were great. I would definitely date more Tauruses in 2023. And coming in at number one, this is the sign that I dated the most in 2023 is Pisces. And I have to say, I thought I liked Pisces. And I think I, Still... Would you date another Pisces? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. I think, I think, I think my experiences this year ruined that sign for me along with um, Leo and Scorpio. But yeah, that's definitely a sign that we are leaving in 2022. So I'm always getting asked about my skincare. I honestly need to do an updated skincare routine, but this year there's definitely a few products that I was loyal to, like loyal to the soil, was using them day and night, were products that I found were so effective for my skin. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with number five. Number five has to be my Natura Base CC Splash. This is something that I've just have used for so long. I randomly discovered it at the Wynn Hotel in Las Vegas. And since I've discovered it, I've been using it. It just smells so good. It is literally like a spa, like a spa experience when you spray it. I love to use this under makeup, over makeup. I love to use it like underneath my skincare, over skincare. Definitely it adds like that spa touch when you're skincareing. It smells so good. Try it. Have you ever used this? No. What is it's, it? it's incredible. It's very expensive. Oh. Um, it's the only loud one spritz. No, you can have a few. It's like a vitamin C citrusy moment. It smells really good. Right? Coming in at number four, um, to me, this was like the year of the toner for me. I'm not someone that normally gravitates towards a toner because I've never really felt like they've made a difference. But when I discovered this one, I definitely saw a difference. I definitely felt like my pores were smaller upon applying it. And I love the way that it smells. And that would be my glow recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Type Toner. I said, damn, bitch. Such a long name. Um, and this is definitely a product that I've been so loyal to that I love. I feel like this makes such a huge difference. You guys definitely have to check out Glow Recipe and their products because they are amazing. Coming in at number three, this is one that I kind of discovered a little bit later into the year. I wasn't super familiar with a lot of fresh beauty products, but this was definitely the one that stood out to me the most. And this is the Fresh Tea Elixir Skin Resilience activating serum. 
Um, it looks like this. You guys can see that I'm literally like almost out of it. But I love this so much. I just really feel like it gave my skin really beautiful hydration. I love how plumped it made it look. I really felt like it almost made my skin look a little bit smoother also like over time. I was using this morning and night. Definitely gonna be using this morning 2023 and definitely recommend that you guys check it out as well. Coming in at number two, we can't forget about our eyes. This is also a Glow Recipe product and also something that has been newer, but I feel like out of all the other things that I used this year, this was definitely the most effective for me. And this is the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. This right here, I literally feel like I saw a difference within like the second week. I'm always looking for something to make my under eyes look smoother, brighter, more just like hydrated and awake. And this was definitely one of those things that I literally noticed such a difference when I would use it at night. Primarily when I would wake up in the morning, I would just look at my under eyes and they just looked not as puffy, super hydrated. And I really felt like over time it made like my under eye bags kind of just look brighter. I'm someone that doesn't get a lot of sleep sometimes, so this has definitely been a lifesaver for me and something that you guys should definitely check out going into the new year. And coming in at number one, and I just have to say, disclosure, I'm not just saying that this is my number one because the person that owns this company and this brand is my friend. I genuinely love this product. She knows it. We've had conversations about it. I talk about this on my stories all the time, but it is the Desi Agua Fresca Thirst Quenching Gel Cream Moisturizer. What is all these long ass skincare names? <laughs> But you guys, this has just been like magic yeah. for my skin. I love the aesthetic of the bottle. I love that you can just like push it down and you get like some product at the top. Um, this is literally my third one this year. There's a lot of product in here. I love this morning and night. It is just such a great moisturizer. I love how lightweight it is, how literally hydrating it is. I have psoriasis on my scalp and I actually told Desi this. There's times where I get like flare ups specifically around like my hairline. I think it's like when I'm stressed or just like going through it. But I would literally apply some of this like wherever I would have like my flare ups and it just helped to soothe and hydrate. I love this. You guys definitely have to check it out. This is the one for me. If there was one thing that I was, you guys have to try from her brand, it's definitely this moisturizer. So I didn't post my Spotify wrap this year. And when I asked you guys what you guys wanted to know, a lot of you guys were like, what was like your favorite like artist, your favorite music, your favorite songs. So I'm gonna pull it up right now and factually tell you guys what my top songs of 2022 were because y'all know I love music. I love to dance. <laughs> Okay, so my top five songs of 2022, I'm, I'm actually not surprised. Number five, I'm actually surprised this isn't higher, but it's fine. Number five was Heated by Beyonce. That's number five. That's number five. You? Number five. Oh, I gotta go down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> number four, which I also thought was really interesting, was Virgo's Groove from Beyonce. Spoiler alert, she's on here a few times. <laughs> Because literally, Renaissance had me like. <laughs> in a chokehold. Number three was Closer by Saweetie and her. That's my number four. That's your number four? Uh -huh. But also, like, in our defense, we literally played that song like crazy in the office. Every photo shoot, every, everything was just like closer on repeat. Number two, I'm not shocked was No Love. That was your number five? I'm dead. <laughs> no Love, um, Summer Walker, SZA, and Cardi B. Um, <laughs> Ariana, what are you doing here? <laughs> you guys can imagine why I heard the song a lot this year, you know, just when you're just going through the gigs, you know, just music just just speaks to you. Can you guess what number one was? Your number one song. Number one. Oh my god. It's Break My Soul by Beyonce. Oh duh. You and Break My Soul. Duh, you and Break My Soul. I kind of feel like that was like the theme song of the year, not even gonna lie, because there was a lot of moments where like that song was just like on literally repeat. Com and I took a, a work trip to New York and it was literally like Everywhere we were going, the gays were playing Break My Soul. This was before the album dropped. It was literally on repeat nonstop. So those are my top five songs, according to Spotify, 
of 2022. You guys know I love accessories, jewelry, sunglasses. I was getting a lot of questions about like my favorite like accessories and I kind of felt like accessories was a really broad range of things. So I just narrowed it down to my favorite sunnies of 2022. You guys know I love to wear glasses. I love to wear them inside, outside, during the day, at night. Like I'm a glasses type of person, so I'm gonna share with you guys my top five styles of 2022. Coming in at number five are these gray chrome sunnies. Um, these are from my friend's brand, Soto Swimwear. Um, I just love how big and chunky they are. They are just very like, you know, unbothered. I don't know, like they just give a very like, leave me alone. Like I like that they kind of feel a little like, intimidating like i don't know like i just really love that it gives out it's giving very like airport it's giving very like running errands just 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 don't talk to me we're busy over here coming in at number four is a pair that i keep going back to these i've actually had for several years um and i literally wear them all the time i'm, I'm obsessed they are from a brand named gentle monster and they're these black and gold frames i just really love the shape of these, like every time that I wear these, I get so many compliments. I love that you can see my brows. I don't know if you can still get these, probably not, um, but I love these. These are definitely number four this year. Coming in at number three, this was, this was kind of a hard one. Um, I didn't know where to put it, but I love these so much. These are my Desi six feet. Um, I'm not sure what colorway these are, but I just love the frame, how big it is. It almost has this like 70s vibe. I love these so much. She also just dropped them in some other colors, which I also have, but these are the ones that I keep going back to. I love that you can still see my eyes. We're still here, but they're just like really big and bold and make a statement. And they just give like Miami poppy. Like, I love these so much. Coming in at number two, I wore these so much. I love these so much. These are my Versace frames. I love that they just give like this like mortar sporty vibe. I love that you can still see my brows. I love that like the frame kind of stops here and then it goes a little bit thinner. I've worn these so much. I actually wore these for my birthday. I wear these to the club. I love these. If these are still available, these are definitely a pair that I recommend that everyone needs to have. And coming in at number one, this is a new pair. But since I got them, I literally cannot stop wearing them. I get so many compliments, and those would have to be my drippy shades from Desi. Like, come on, look at this. Like, I just feel like I look so cool. Like, it immediately just like takes my look to the next level. I could be wearing like a black t-shirt, and I can throw these on, and I just feel like it elevates the look. I love the gold detail. You guys know I'm like a gold person. My brand is black and gold, so I love these so much, but these are amazing, literally. They look great on guys, girls. Everyone needs these, so make sure you guys run and get these as well. 2022 was definitely the year of TikTok for me. I know I was a little late to the game. I wasn't like a huge TikTok person, but this year I really feel like I entered my TikTok era, and we did a lot of challenges, lots of dances on TikTok, so I thought it would be fun to share with you guys my top three TikTok dances challenges of 2022. Calm has actually gathered that information, so he's gonna actually read them off to me, and we're gonna find out together what those were. I, I kind of have an idea. All right, Calm, so what was my number three TikTok challenge slash dance? <laughs> Your number three TikTok challenge slash dance was the Sum Cut Challenge. The Sum Cut Challenge, okay. Shout out to my girl, Victoria Monet. You did that nine times. You guys, I just want you guys to know that that dance had me like fucked up for like a month straight. Like calm knows I was like in the office practicing left to right. It took a minute. That's the one that took me the longest. So I'm kind of a little shook that that was number three, um, but I'll take it. Views, you gathered 316,800 views. 360,000 views for the Sum Cut Challenge. All right, what was number two? Number two was the Puppet Challenge. Cuff it? <laughs> and honestly, I've been seeing also a lot of videos saying we gotta leave the Cuff It Challenge in 2022. I'm here to let you know, no we're not. We're taking it into 2023. You did the Cuff It Challenge seven times. Okay. And you brought in 851,900 views. 851,000 views? Mm -hmm. It's literally almost a million views for that dance, mm -hmm. wow. But who doesn't love Beyonce? Who doesn't love Cuff It? Wait, you wanna know your number one? I, I know what my number one was. Your number one, as you probably know, is the rodeo challenge. Of course it is, and I'ma ride it like a rodeo. Do you know how many times you did that challenge? I 
I mean, I literally did it everywhere. I did it at Starbucks, I did it at Target, I did it at the gym, I did it at Coachella, which is the one that set it off. Yeah, you posted that challenge 20 times. 20 times this year, okay. And in the 20 videos, you brought in 3,296,500 views. What? <laughs> 3 million views? Mm -hmm. Over 3.3 million basically. 3.3 million views for the rodeo challenge. Honestly, that's the one that really put me on the map when it came to TikTok because that's the one that really took off and went viral and I got like a ton of followers. So shout out to the city girls. Period. I'ma ride you like a rodeo. Ow. What was that? So you guys know I live in LA. I love to wine and dine in LA. I'm not like a cook at home kind of person. I'm a very much like a make reservations kind of person. So I thought it would be fun to share with you guys my top three places that I dined at this year. And for me, when it comes to like dining and going to restaurants, it's not just about like, oh, I'm hungry, let's go have a meal. It's about like the full experience. Like I want to get ready. We need to get in the look. Like all the girls need to like show up looking like baddies. We need to have some drinks, we need to have some food. So like these are the places that I go to for vibes with my friends, the people I love. I've actually pulled this data from my bank statements and my open table app because I use it a lot sometimes to make reservations. So coming in at number three is Bestia in downtown Los Angeles. Bestia is an incredible Italian food spot. If you live in LA or around LA and you've never been, you need to go. And funny enough, this was actually my first time, uh, my first year that I, I went. I've been living in downtown Los Angeles for like six years now and it was the my first time ever going to Bestia was this year. And I went to Bestia a whopping 12 times this year. Um, so delicious, so good. It's definitely more like, on like a cheat day kind of moment. Like I, I can't really go there without being bad. If you love some Italian, make sure you guys check out Bestia. So coming in at number two, it's actually a tie and I, and I, and I know why. Um, one of these places I go to for brunch and dinner. Um, and there's been a few events at this place and then the other place I just live for. So I'm just always there all the time. Um, and that is Lavo and Tao, which I think they're both a part of like the same uh, like hospitality group. Um, and I went to both places a whopping 16 times. Um, definitely check out Lavo for brunch vibes. It's so good. The food is amazing. Um, and Tao, I just love. They have them in New York. They have them here in LA and in Vegas, which is how I've been to Tao so many times this year because I either go to the one here, when I'm in New York, I go there. We went to Tao in New York mm -hmm, when we were there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so good. So good. Make sure you guys check it out. It's, it's, it's fire. Cookie. The giant fortune cookie is a vibe. <laughs> Coming in at number one, can you guys guess what it is? I'm gonna give you guys a minute to drop a comment and guess what it is before I tell you what it is. I think this one's probably really obvious. Well, just it's not a thrill, but... Uh... <laughs> Coming in at number one, it's the one and only Catch. You guys know, Catch is like my second home. And again, I go there for brunch, I go there for lunch, I go there for dinner. Um, they have one in New York. They also have a Catch steak in New York. They have a Catch in Vegas, and we have in LA a regular Catch and a Catch steak. So that is a total of five different Catch locations that I've been to. Can you guess how many times I went to Catch this year? 30,000. With all three cities combined brunch, dinner, lunch, like all of it throughout this year? I'm gonna say like 30. Higher. How more? More. 37. No. 42. No. 51? 58 <laughs> times. 58. 58 times. Listen, I need a goddamn menu item named after me at this point. <laughs> Literally 58 times, can you really believe wow. And last but not least, we couldn't do a 22 year end review with doing something related to my brand. So I thought I would share with you guys my top three favorite launches of 2022. This is really, really hard because I feel like every time we work on products and launches, like everything is literally like our baby that we are literally birthing to the world. I narrowed it down and here are my faves. So coming in at number three, it's actually the latest launch that we just had, which is my Full Fantasy Faux Lashes. This was one that I was really, really excited about because this really took a long time and you would think that lashes wouldn't take a long time, but we were really, really specific with like the bands that we wanted, the fluffiness that we wanted, and just making sure that we had like the right fibers. We were actually able to use a really cool, unique technology where all of these lashes are handmade, hand placed, and they're actually made out of plant fibers and they 
literally mimic the look of actual natural lashes. They're amazing. You guys definitely have to check them out. I'm actually wearing Style Femme Fatale right now, which I love because it's subtle, but I feel like it's also impactful at the same time. Just gives your eyes a nice little like wispy snatched look. Coming in at number two was my March launch, which was my Supreme Mauves palette. This palette was such a dream to make because the Supreme franchise has just been such a huge hit for my brand. You guys know and love Supreme Nude, Supreme Bronze, and I felt like Supreme Moms, which I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, was just like the perfect addition to the Supreme family. The colors are to die for. It's available right now on artistcouture.com and Sephora.com. Such a beautiful palette. Everyone needs it in their life. Perfect for the holidays. And this is my number two favorite launch of the year. And coming in at number one for my favorite launch of 2022, I'm sure it's gonna be no surprise to you guys, it is my Silky Lip Oil Extension. I can't believe that we started with one and you guys loved it so much, sold it out so many times that this year we got the opportunity to create new flavors that you guys are loving. And I'm just so excited that our little Silky family is growing and I'm so excited that you guys love them so much. And this is definitely my favorite launch of 2022. All right, you guys, that pretty much concludes this video. Some of my favorite things of 2022. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are surprised or shocked by any of these things. I cannot believe 2022 is a wrap. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited and looking forward to a brand new year. I always feel like it's a nice, fresh start, a clean slate. And I know that people always say like, new year, new me. I kind of feel like, I'm gonna ditch that this year. New year, same me, just bigger goals, bigger dreams, and bigger bags. Before you guys go, don't be shady, be a lady, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss a beat. I promise more YouTube in 2023. Thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.